Hi everybody, happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having a great weekend so far. Since it's Saturday, that means it's time for the glitter report over here at A Glittery Life. And I cannot wait to show you some of the things that I've been loving this week and some of my weekly favorite products. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with um, face, some things that I've really been loving for my face this week. And you know, I like to go through my products and make sure I'm changing things up and make sure that I'm still using stuff and not wasting products by just letting them sit around. So this week I've been loving that gal by Benefit. This is their primer. It's their brightening face primer, which I think is really fun for summer. It's kind of like this pink color um, when you put it on and then you just, then it just kind of blends into like a really nice like brightening tone. You're not going to be able to see that, but it is really beautiful. It's a great primer and I love it. And I do think it's actually a really good summer primer. So I've been using that a ton this week. Something else that I've been using for my face, which I'm I am attesting to the fact that my makeup's been staying all day, even though it's hot here in LA, is the Max Fix Plus um, Finishing Mist. Now I've been using this for so many different things. I use this for my pigments. I've been doing a lot of pigments on my eyes um, lately because I'm just having a lot of fun with pigments. Sorry, my hair is like all crazy. Um, anyway, I've been using Fix Plus a ton for just spraying on my face right after I put my primer on and then spraying my face with it again right after I've put all my makeup on to set my makeup and um, also using it to wet my brush with to put pigments on with so that they have a really good stay in power and they can do that more metallic look, which I love. So I've been loving that. Uh, also in the MAC family, the MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder. I love this. Um, it's that like really finely milled white powder uh, that doesn't leave a white cast and it's a really great setting powder and I actually use the MAC 187 like duo fiber um, brush for that to set it because I feel like these um, synthetic fibers pick this up better and then tap it off better without it overloading your brush and getting too much uh, powder on your face or wasting powder by having it just fall off the brush. So this has been a winning combination for me this week also. Um, you know what I've been loving for my eye or actually what I've been using on my eyes this week that I haven't used before is the balm put a lid on it. This is a little sample a 3.7 milliliter sample of their eyelid primer. And this kind of reminds me a little bit of the Urban Decay Primer, which I'm sort of like not that huge of a fan of, but it's not that I don't like it. I just, I really love the Benefit um, FYI Primer and mine, you know, went bad. I think I showed you that in a couple of like videos ago, it went bad. So I'm like in the search for a new primer, but I really, this is like a clear like primer and I loved that the FYI was like an evening primer and it just like kind of provided a really good neutral base so but I've been putting painterly and some other things over this and and actually you know as far as primers go this has been a great primer my eyeshadow is not creasing I don't have a ton of fallout so um, this little baby sample not so bad and actually there's a lot in here because I barely use any so I actually have a feeling it's gonna last for a while um, okay uh, something else that I've been using a ton for my eyes, which is really funny because I've talked about this before, not loving it, which is the Maybelline Master Drama Eye Studio Midnight Master Eyeliner. And here's why I didn't like it. I don't know if you can see that, but it has a very round top. You can't keep that fine point. So you get a really like thick line. And if I'm going to line my eyes, I want like a much thinner line. And no matter how I, no matter what angle I hold this at, I cannot get a thin line. But what I've discovered this is perfect for is my waterline. And you know, I've been super into doing my waterline lately and not lining the top of my, um, not lining the top of my lash line, but I've just been doing the waterline. And because this is kind of has a flat point to it, it's actually been really great for my waterline. So where I didn't like this before for a normal liner, um, I love it for my waterline. It's very smooth, has really good staying power, and it doesn't transfer to my lower lash line. My lower lot my and it doesn't transfer to my lower waterline, which I really like. Okay, um, something that I've been using for my body this week is the Kona Tanning Company Gradual Tanner. And I'm actually doing a product review of this next week for Viva Glam Magazine. And so I've been using this all week. And it says use daily for best results, apply evenly on skin as you would your daily moisturizer, blah, blah, blah. Um, but what's really cool about this product is that it's um, made here in 
in LA. It's made in Irvine, so Orange County. Um, and it's pretty natural. It still has parabens and all that kind of stuff in it, which kind of bums me out. But you know, this for the smell, it doesn't smell like those, like a normal self tanner. It actually smells like kind of like a, a, a mix of like chocolate and a 50 50 ice cream bar. So it's kind of like a cupcake, chocolate cupcake and a 50 50 ice cream bar mixed together. And I love it. It has a really subtle shimmer to it. So it gives you just a really nice kind of like glowy sheen. So I've been using this all week, testing it out, and I can't wait to do the review on this because so far I love it. So, um, and my review will have all the information on where you can get this, but you can go to their website, www.konatanningcompany.com to find out more about this product if you don't want to wait for my review for next week. So that's been a winner. Okay, for my lips, um, well, I'll tell you what I'm wearing today because I've been wearing it a lot. Okay, I don't know if you can really see this very good, um, but I've been wearing Max Saint Germain a ton because it's like such a cute like Barbie pink and um, it really matches great with my Dodger tank top today. So that's kind of what I'm wearing it. But I also have Max Silly on with it and I've got Silly, I've got my whole corners done with Silly and then um, the inner part of my lips done with the lipstick. So there's Silly, the lip liner, and then there's the Saint Germain, the lipstick. So um, obviously you guys know I'm doing No By July, so I am definitely reaching into some old favorites and pulling out some stuff that I love. So I've had this combo in my purse for a while and haven't been using it because I've been super into the corally orange lip this season, but I just thought this would be a really fun lip uh, to go with my Dodger tank top. I am filming this on Friday. I am going to a Dodger game tonight. I mean, if it's Friday in LA and the Dodgers are at home, you can generally find me there. So um, I'm taking my 16 year old cousin Prescott to a game tonight and I can't wait. You know, I haven't seen them win yet. I've, this will be my sixth game of the season and they've lost every single one of them, even when they've been on a winning streak and they're on another really hot winning streak tonight. And I'm hoping I don't ruin that. So um, my last beauty product for my f favorites is the Rimmel London Show Off Lip Lacquer and mine's an, an apocalypse. Is that what I, yeah. Where's my color? Apocalyptic. Okay, I bought these while I was, at, I bought this while I was at home, threw it in my purse and forgot about it. And then this week I was changing purses because I went to the um, live taping of The Voice earlier this week and I needed to take a smaller purse and this was in my bigger purse. And I found it at the bottom and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that I bought this. Holy moly, this product is amazing. I don't know what I was expecting because I've never tried a lip lacquer. And so I thought it was gonna be more like a lip gloss, which you all know I don't really care about lip gloss. No way, look at that, that is the lipstick. Every time I wear it, people are like, what is on your lips? Your makeup looks amazing, I love what you're wearing. And it's because this lipstick is amazing. So what I found, this is a really thick product and it's it goes on like a lipstick or a lip gloss. It has the doe foot applicator. Um, I think it's probably like six or seven dollars from the drugstore. And this is how I found the best way to wear it. So I put a, I put a coat on, I put a layer on, then I blot it with a um, Kleenex and then I feel like it has all day staying power and it's not too sticky. It does go on a little bit sticky and thick. And so I do feel like it definitely needs a blot, but I cannot believe how beautiful that color is. And um, way to go Rimmel. I mean, geez Louise, it's so awesome. So those are my beauty favorites for the week. And then um, my two other favorites for the week is um, one of them is a TV show. I am obsessed with Big Brother. I have been a Big Brother fan for a really long time. All my girlfriends back at home in Reading are all Big Brother fans. We Voxer each other about it. We Facebook each other about it, all that kind of stuff. But this is the first season. Oh, I just got lipstick all over my leg. This is the first season that I don't have TV and I'm not watching it with my small group and none of my friends in LA are Big Brother fans. So I have the live feed and I'm obsessed with it. I feel like there have never been so many good players and it films like 10 minutes away from my house. So that's kind of cool too. So my other favorite this week is Big Brother. And then my last favorite is a candle that I just picked up at Target and it's the Sweet Spun Sugar Scented Soy Candle and it smells like cotton candy. Call, I wish you could smell this. It burns so amazing, it smells so good. And these are limited edition at Target. So if you love cotton candy like I do, in fact, I'll have a bag tonight at the baseball game. I would highly recommend getting this candle because it's really good. I wish I would have gotten the bigger one and I went back yesterday and they don't have the bigger one. So I've just had the little baby one, but Honestly, it's such a great candle. So those are all the things that are making my life glittery this week and coming up on the Glitter Report. So I hope you found some cool things that you wanna try out or that you're inspired to try something else out in your uh, collection that you already have. Since some of you are doing No By July with me, keep it up. I hope you're going strong and staying, staying strong. I promise you, 
I have not bought a single thing. I've been tempted once or twice, but I'm actually really trying to stay out of the mall. I'm trying to stay out of Sephora. I'm not looking online. The Nordstrom semi-annual sale is going on right now and it's killing me because I know the beauty counters have some really great deals. So, but going strong and appreciate all the accountability from you guys. So anyway, have a great weekend. See y'all later.